Hi guys, how's it going? Ivano here. Today I want to quickly show you something that BioWare added in patch 7.2, but that was not in the patch notes and I don't see anyone using yet, even though I think it's really OP. Um, so what am I talking about is the second wind package. You can normally buy it on the fleet in the supply section here from the implant vendor, but since it wasn't in the patch notes, I have not seen anyone using this yet, except for some PVEs maybe. Um, but what makes it so good is that every time you defeat an enemy, it gives you a 20% heal and a 75% movement speed buff for 8 seconds. Um, so this is really good, obviously, if you're a solo player who doesn't have a healer. But it's also good if you're playing in a pre-made and you want to damage farm. Um, maybe playing a melee class uh, that doesn't have that many gap closers and you want to do more damage to the next target. So I will show some, some clips from some war zones we played the other day that can hopefully show you why this item is really OP right now and might be an option for anyone that doesn't have very impactful uh, legendary implants. So in the first clip, we are queuing in our pre-made, right? So we have a heal, of course, um, and we're about to kill this guy. And you can see the power of, of the second wind implant, even if you do not need the heal. So we're about to kill this guy, he dies. We get the 70k heal and the buff triggers. Now we have the movement speed and we can close the gap to the sorcerer without need, needing to use our pull and also saving hold the line. So we run over here, the guy runs away, we swap to the commando. Now our teammates catch up, allows us to quickly kill the commando. But because we have second wind, we get the movement speed buff again. And note what happens to uh, our friend Global Trooper over here, right? He's not playing that implant. So we get the movement speed and already now we are about to attack the sorcerer here. He needed to use um, his leap in case you saw it in the background. But we still have our leap. We still have our alt line. The movement speed buff allows us to keep up with the sorcerer. Now the sorcerer runs through the whole group, gets one shot anyway. We get another movement speed buff and now we can some, do some damage to the mercenary. I think this is a great example of why, why this implant is good. Um, even though in this situation, maybe we didn't need the heal, basically just allows you to save your mobility cooldowns so that you have them ready when you actually need, need them. And then in this situation, here we're fighting in the same game at the turret, um, fighting against these two guys. We get the reflect of the commando and then we swap to the sorcerer. Um, sorcerer knocks us back in a second. We kill him, we get the buff, and once the root expires, this buff allows us to close the gap. And we get enraged for this energy burst, uh, which we wouldn't have gotten off otherwise uh, if we didn't play sec second wind here. Super nice. And at the, at the end of the war zone, you can see um, uh, just from mobility in a game like this, when you're really dominating and winning, um, uptime is all that matters. So uh, the, the more the more you can, the easier you can get to your targets. And um, uh, using this movement speed buff uh, is going to make you top DPS more often than not. Swapping to the to the second example, so this is another game, and here, as you see, we do not have a healer, so we're queued with a with a pre-med of two other DPS. We are already pretty low, and we're fighting a bunch of tanks and juggernauts here. Um, so let's play the clip and see what happens. Doing some damage on this tank, he goes pretty low. We get choked. Now we have guard from from a random tank, but we are going dangerously low at this point. Um, of course, since we're detecting a sage, we're going to pull him anyway, since this is what we do. And at this point, we have 7k HP, or truly we're dead here, right? But let's play the clip. Um, so the Sage Barriers, mm, we do not get the heal. It's really annoying because now we are at 3k hit points. We have the stot on us. Surely we're dead, right? But no, <laughs> because um, uh, off, the, off the screen, our teammates have killed a tank um, that, that we, uh, we were damaging earlier. And that's the important thing, right? You, you do not need to get the killing blow. It is enough if you damage someone. And then once your team kills them, you will get the 70k heal. Right? So this allows us to survive. Sage comes out of the barrier and we kill him. So enemy is respawning. We keep going. Kill this guy. Another 70k heal. And that allows us to finish off the Sorg. Jumping to another, just 10 seconds later, another scene here. We're killing this guy. 70k heal. This guy is low, but he heals to full. Um, the Sork is tunneling us, channeling his inner emperor. He's playing madness, so he's probably pretty mad at this point. But we get to pull him, and because of all the heals that we gotten from the killing blows, 
another heal, thank you very much, 70k, and we'll survive easily. Um, the last clip is, I think, the coolest. Um, so this was actually a close Hypergate game. Again, we do not have a healer. Um, we're playing at the pylon, we're trying to cap it. They have heal and tank and everything. Um, and we are already going dangerously low here at this point. So we're at 50%, taking some damage from all these madness sorcerers right now, and there's four people on us here, right? Surely we're dead. Popped our cooldowns, maybe a little bit late. Um, but we're so low, we don't have a heal. Um, surely we must be dead here, right? And now we can see the power of Second Wind, even though the sky barriers. Um, we get a kill here in a second. And watch our HP bar. There you go, 70k heal, which allows us to stay alive. Otherwise, we would have been already dead here. I think in a second, we managed to kill this guy as well. There you go, another 70k heal. So this, this kind of shows the power of second wind. Um, and I think actually in a second, this allows us to cap the turret here and win the game. Killing this guy, thank you very much. Another 70k heal. Yeah, so this is why, why it's really good. Um, I think on, on power tech, this is something you definitely should consider. Um, I think all the classes that don't have any, any self-sustain could benefit from this, um, whether you're damage farming or whether you're queuing solo without a healer. Um, you can buy it here on the fleet, as I already showed you in the beginning at, uh, at the implant vendor. And yeah, hope this was helpful. If you liked it, please subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and see you guys tomorrow.